Try Ultra. Turning that off. All right, post effects. Everything's on. Turn not event zero. Looked very awesome when I was uh, seeing someone else streaming a while back when it came out. And I'm a sucker for like space kind of sci-fi stuff, especially with the the future futuristic retro kind of that like Aliens has. So this is blind. Never seen this before. Gonna give it a shot. A new game. Is it technically a save file if there's nothing in it? <clears throat> Here we go. Lower this mic a little bit. Have to stare at it. We are all obsessed by being someone, something, somewhere. Being in a particular state of consciousness, health, mind, being for and from, being with, being without, you were not an exception. Oh, that's pickable. For as long as you could remember, the pronoun that described you best had been technically he. You were very particular about it. Like everybody else, you called planet Earth your home, but you weren't like most of your peers. You spent your childhood. Um, well, I guess I'm going to have to. After the war, Manila was not the best place to raise a child. Your parents had to sell their downtown condo. You moved to California. Those childhood memories, however painful, gave you some solace. They meant you were someone else. And you intended to keep it that way. I'm going to verify the stream hasn't locked up because the preview had stopped. Okay. Let's see if that's back up before we proceed. Looks good. You intended to keep it that way. We're getting closer to the station here. Armstrong made a step on the moon, and suddenly everybody wanted to be a part of something. You witnessed a nation, you witnessed nation states pop out of existence. Salonites became the privileged class of citizens. They were the minority who had traveled to space. It was hard to reconcile the modern world with your early days in Manila. The United Earth government paid for your college. You wanted to difference, give back to society, see what the rest of the universe looks like. Make a difference. You became a part of the United Earth Safety Supervision Board. A job proved dull and repetitive. It wasn't long before you needed a change. Soon you joined International Transport Space Lines as a flight engineer assistant. You spent years in training before finally getting your shot. An old man wearing a blue flight jacket approached you after one of the mock launch exercises. He presented himself as Kurt Taylor, the president of ITS. It's an honor to finally meet you, Mr. Taylor. Kurt invited you to his office and closed the door behind you. He didn't ask you to sit. You kept standing. Oh, wow. He frowned and pointed to the chair forcefully. I asked you here because I wanted someone with your background to be a part of our next mission. Background? I heard you grew up in Manila, and look at you now. You know that Nietzsche, Nietzsche whatever, said he was, he who has a why can bear almost anyhow. He grinned, clearly satisfied with himself, and asked you to be a part of a mission to Europa. Naturally, you said yes. There had already been 10 Europa missions. The new one was to be called Europa 11. This time, they wanted to send a manned lander down to the surface. You just wanted to be a part of something. An act of being in itself is not the problem. It's just that some ways of being are incompatible with others. We get obsessed by them and miss out on everything else. You came a long way from Manila. Hearing the launch countdown made you feel anxious. It wasn't a fear of going to space, you'd been looking forward to that. 
It was something else. A thought kept bugging you. It was September 6, 2012, and humankind had never been more united. You, on the other hand, were utterly alone, as for building relationships 390 million miles away from Earth. Well, let's just say that wasn't going to be straightforward. You were on your way to the system bay when the ships first when the ship first entered the Europa orbit. The central alarm went off and the red lights blinded you. The AI of Europa 11 had invoked the code red security protocol. All personnel had to go to the bridge. This meant you as well. But the system bay door was a few feet away. You reached the end of the hallway with the door closed right in front of you. You asked the AI to let you go to the bridge. The AI, the AI of the ship told you that the path to the bridge wasn't safe and that you had to evacuate immediately. This is not the protocol. Please do not argue with me. My orders are to keep you alive. Your orders? What are you talking about? I like being alive. Everybody else turned out to be faster than you. Only one capsule remained docked. It got sealed and detached as soon as you got in. You could see the other escape capsules getting away from Europa 11. You tried to hail them. But no one answered. The other capsules drifted idly, uncontrolled. They were all empty. You tried to reach the command center, or you attempted to communicate with Europa 11. I'm assuming the command center is somewhere... Yeah. Back on Earth. A signal had reached the Earth, and you even got a signal back, but it was white noise. Communications were jammed. Your pod was about to leave the orbit. In a code red scenario, the AI of Europa 11 was at the wheel of all escape pods. This was supposed to give the crew enough time to get to their EVA suits. The screen turned blue, which meant the AI had let go. You felt shock. The debris was hitting your capsule. The Europa 11 mission was over. The big dot on the radar had split into hundreds of smaller dots before disappearing for good. You needed a moment to process that. Sent out a distress signal. No one answered. You just kept, kept it running despite the lack of sunlight. If no one found you, you wouldn't need the battery anyway. Cycles went by. You tried to establish communication with someone, whistling your favorite Filipino songs into the microphone. One day, you heard back. There was music coming out of the speakers, a sad female voice saying about the end of the world. You hurried to open the radar app. There it was, a spaceship, one of those experimental tourist monstrosities from the 80s. What was it doing there? What was all the singing about? Most importantly, was docking it a good idea? You figured you did not have much of a choice. Kaizen understands commands, but it understands complete sentences better. The word Kaizen is loading. Should be entertaining. I like the aesthetic already. Gameplay about empathy. Show some. Hold the left mouse button to walk. Look around first. It's pretty awesome. Facial location midway. 
<laughs> An interesting uh, movement mechanism there. Wow, the sensitivity's up. I have it turned way down on my mouse. Database corrupted, no user found, created a new user, please log in. Whoa, we've got to adjust that. Woo, that's, that's insane. Mouse sensitivity, let's kick that down to half of that. You need a keyboard to type, okay. Character with keyboard. Okay, yeah, that's going to be better, I think. Oh, that sounds so good. You want to keep Chesky as your new login? Well, yeah. Under my name. New user Chesky created. Commenting event count. Success. Resuming. What? Your name is Chesky. How curious. Use your keyboard to talk to Kaizen. Well, how are you? Not taking input. It's busy. Almost. Nine hundred thirty-eight day nine thousand and thirty-eight days. That's nuts. Talk to him again. It's not quite understanding me on the, that one. Okay. Okay. Um international terms on the state lines comfort toast. International terms. Uh Okay, bye. I actually let go. Alright, it's still a little sensitive. We're gonna drop that again. Controls down to 1.8. Fly. Back, resume. Emergency re entry medical kit. Do I need that? I have gone a little too far. Do I have a flashlight? Oh, hi. Do you dream of distant planets, stars, and galaxies? Do you crave real adventure? Are you ready for the most transformative experience of your life? The ITS Corporation, 
leader in space transportation and hospitality sector, offers a unique opportunity to become a true pioneer in universe exploration. This fall, we're launching the Nautilus program, a new kind of space voyage aboard luxurious space yachts and cruisers. Touch the stars without having to sacrifice your comfort. No more compromise, only Nautilus. International Transport Space Lines. Comfort out of your comfort zone. To reserve your seat, visit the ITS Corporation headquarters in Palo Alto, California. Open the pod bay door, Hal. Think it's actually going to be heavy metal? Do you dream of distant planets, stars, or galaxies? If I'm trying to be a So how do I get out of here then? I need to get in there. Who's that? Booty Blues. He is sleeping. How do I wake him up? How do we get all right? I'm assuming this is a puzzle. Okay. Hmm. I look around now. How do we clean up? How do we open D3? Can I do it from here, maybe? So it is terminal specific. We've learned this. Hmm. I can't crouch or jump or anything like that. So it's just general movement. Robinson syndrome. Interesting. I am alone. Everybody's. Something in it? I guess it's a spoon. Alright, so how do we get him to open the door? Okay. 
Okay, so we talked about the tip of being empathetic. Maybe Kaizen's lonely. He is 9,038 days old, so. Hang on. All right, so we're gonna be extra polite to him because he apparently has. I think you need to open it again, please. What's going on? Sounds like a trap. Why was it a threat? It doesn't answer my question. Okay. That's troubling. Um Looks like he's got an <laughs> ulterior motive. Okay. Here we go. Now we're supposed to go to the bridge. There's another terminal there. Holy crap, what was that? I 
I cannot type. Fairly ineffective. Okay. So walking around then. We really don't know what to expect. D4. Finish exploring this room first. So we have a bedroom, we have a living room. Let's say. Eyes and memory access profiler. Hell. Yes, execute vital. Find eye and memory. One, three, and four. What's number two? Around here somewhere? What are those? What's with the... Somebody was hacking the Gibson, yo. Moved notes to terminal. Okay, so that is the bedroom, which is locked to me. Meaning bot is nervous. <laughs> Very dark. What is D7? The bridge. That's where he wants me to go. I feel like maybe I need some sleep. To just pretend maybe I need some sleep. Alright. Please open D4. All right, well, I guess I can enter now. Has a like I like this feel, this vibe. Faster rotten breakfast cereal. Ooh, I wonder how bad the milk looks. Oh, it's all gone. Traces of dried almond milk. Tissue. What were you watching, last person here? Okay, we don't know what to expect at this point yet. What's that? No vulnerabilities. Hmm. Should be E N E R. Vulnerabilities. What the hell's going on here? Okay, so it's still connected to the database though, because it was showing what I was typing. A secure vacuum oven. Things rotten. Food supply. So turn on the food supply.
What was the way it was phrased? Please connect. Yes, and I'm going to have to fix that terminal to turn that on. Piss him off at this point. All right, so we have a broken terminal. If you notice the light shining on it for some reason, or why? Hmm. I can't do anything with it. Oh, oh. Yeah, I can't actually do it. At least looking for it, but it won't let me do it. Okay, we're gonna leave the room for now. Flashing critical. Okay. Clearly turned off, and I think it's br over there. Oh, what is that? Bridge is jammed. I think all of that's happening in there. Oh, D6 is open now, too. Ryzen 85 not found. Connecting from the mainframe. Broken, too. Can't actually use it. What does that say? Ask me if you need anything. Okay. Find out what's behind D6. Oh, wow. Next to the elevator door, okay. Yeah, but it's broken, so that tires and wrenches. Okay, I can't pick anything up at this point. Let's say memory location. Sticking out too, that's the memory location. Okay, cool. I guess. Zero X, uh, one, two, three, four, eight, four, E. Oh, not enough. Okay. Oh, you can't. <laughs> I typed, I uh, pressed up. Let's see if it would retype it. Man, I'm kind of sluggish on putting it in. Oh, I missed those doubles, I guess. This memory address contains an executable file. Do you want to launch it? Um, Yes. Yes. Ooh. 
What? <clears throat> There's something else going on here. Find retina match. Move notes to terminal. We already did that. Oh, it's hot wiring it. So the keys I'm pressing correlate to specific ones of these. weird. Any key I press does something a little different. That's a sarcophagus at Chernobyl, isn't it? I'm just pressing, pressing buttons. This is interesting. Going through all the letters on the keyboard. Is that a retina? What is that? So yeah, we're trying to jump or hotwire the uh, door. Alpha numeric key or the keypad has something in it too. 